Anthony already you can't catching. Go wrong with the, uh, what's it called? I don't know that wormy thing. <laughs> Your soft bait. I done forgot what it's called. What's it called? Thank you. Yeah. Hey y'all, it's the Southern Woods here. Welcome to another episode of Tour of Tuna. Today we're at Clark Creek South boat ramp slash day use area slash campground but we're more on the boat ramp side this morning because we're not going to camp here. We're going to camp just on the other side later this evening um, for a different episode. Seems like a nice morning. Anthony already caught a little bass. Let's see if we can catch some more. Yeah, this morning, you know, I was at the typical gas station I go to to get bait and uh, they said they're out of minnows. I was like, shit, you know, because that's been what's working in the mornings during this uh, season so pick up Anthony we're making good time so I look up you know bait shops open near me or places I have minnows go to this old dude on the side of the road sort of thing uh, but all he had were like bigger bait fish and stuff um, no minnows so I was like crap so he's like go down the road a little bit further to uh, Lee's grocery shop or something you know part of a Texaco or something go there get the minnows Get here just in the nick of time at sunrise, but man, it's not even a big deal. Just felt like saying that, you know, we had to run around a little bit this morning. <laughs> All right, y'all. Believe it or not, this may be one of the bigger perch I've caught. They don't typically get that big around here from what I know. And this was a decent one that put up a little fight. I don't even think I got it on the GoPro, dang it, but hey. All right, y'all, currently want to talk about that accessibility score to start out. Uh, it says five bucks to get in this boat ramp, but there wasn't a place to pay, so five bucks may be free, I don't know. Uh, the campground here is $34 a night. Um, the boat ramp is separate from the campground, so you can come here without having to go through the campground gates, which is good. Um, parking lot, not big, not super small either. Uh, it may be a slightly competitive on a weekend, uh, but overall, I, I think it's fairly accessible. So I'm going to give the score a 4.2 out of 5. All right, mid B for accessibility here. A little brim over here catching itself a big worm. He got caught. So, I don't know if, you know, we don't typically count brim too much towards the fishing lock score, but a fish is a fish. All right, y'all, now let's talk about aesthetic. Uh, this side of the lake is calmer, more peaceful, uh, you know, nice on the eyes for sure. Um, as for this specific spot, there's a little bit of trash, not a whole bunch. It's fairly well kept overall. It is kind of close to a road, but honestly, the, the traffic disturbance isn't that bad here. Um, you know, you may, you may find it to be a nice spot. I think it is. It's not spectacular, so I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 for aesthetic. All right, low B. Solid, though. What was that on? See you later. All right, y'all. Now let's talk about that fishability score. My biggest issue here is just that there's not a whole lot of room, right? There's some more open, deeper water by the dock, and there is a small cove right here in front of me, which is nice, um, but there's just not a whole lot of space to spread out. The subterranean part, not too bad, all right? Not a whole lot of snagging issues. Um, which I can appreciate. So overall, I'm going to give it a decent score of a 4.4 out of 5. All right, high B for fishability. Could 
be a worse one. Could be worse. Alright y'all, as per usual, barring any last minute bites, I got the fish and luck score here. Alright, we caught a variety of fish, uh, brim, bass, perch, and a catfish. Alright, four total, um, if you count brim as a whole fish, you know. Uh, but I think there's definitely potential here, so I'm going to give the fish and luck score a 3.2 out of 5. I think you can definitely catch a few solid fish here for sure, um, which gives the total score here for... Clark Creek South boat ramp slash campground day use area. All right, I'm just gonna lump it all in. Um, I'm gonna give it, if you calculate the scores, an 80. All right, eight out of 10, B minus, pretty solid score. All right, uh, it's fairly accessible, fish ability's good. All right, it's, it's not the most pretty place, but it's fairly uh, peaceful. All right. Uh, if there was just a little bit more shoreline, a little bit more room to move around, it'd probably uh, be a little bit better. But that's what I got, y'all. So hit me with that like button if you're enjoying this series and want to see more. Join the Southern Woods community and hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, y'all, Southern Woods out.